Polarization index test is one of the most important tests to check the health of a high voltage motors winding insulation. We use polarization index test or PI test for identifying contaminants and physical changes in high voltage motor insulation. In this video, we will dive deeply on what is PI test and how to perform it practically. Also, why we don't use insulation test or mega test only. Consider subscribing in Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also, don't forget to share, like, and let knowledge enlighten your world. For any motor, we apply insulation resistance test or mega test to check the service condition of an insulation. But applying a high DC voltage to measure the resistive value of insulation only is not sufficient. And it's not reliable result. But there are other factors like temperature are not taken into consideration. So we will apply PI test. PI test is applying mega test on motor between windings and motor body, but not for a few seconds. No, we will apply a high DC voltage for 10 minutes and record the readings on one minute then on 10 minutes. Dividing the reading on 10 minutes over the reading of one minute is the PI ratio or polarization index ratio. This ratio will be compared to this table. If the ratio is below one, this is dangerous. And it means that the insulation is decreasing with time. If ratio is between one and 1.4, the insulation condition is poor. Between 1.5 and 1.9, the insulation condition is questionable. Between 2 and 2.9, the insulation is fair. Between 3 and 4, the insulation condition is good. Above 4, it's excellent. You can also use a digital device to draw a complete graphical curve for 10 minutes and see the results. In figure number 1, insulation condition is good. But in figure number two, the insulation condition is questionable. Let's understand exactly what will happen through the 10 minutes. After applying a high DC voltage, which could be 5 kV for a motor that have a 6.9 kV rating, there is a tiny current that will be produced between winding and body in mini range or micro range. This current has mainly four components. Capacitive component, conductive component, surface leakage component, polarization component. Due to insulator dielectric nature, there will be initial high charging current or capacitive current, which exists for 10 seconds and decay exponentially to zero in 60 seconds or one minute. A purely conductive current flows through the insulator throughout the whole test because any material has some conductive nature. Now, due to dust, moisture and other contaminants on the surface of insulator, there is a surface leakage current through the outer surface of insulator. And at last, we have a polarization current when an electric field is applied across insulator, the polar molecules from contaminants align themselves along the direction of electric field. It takes around 10 minutes to align and become zero. That's why we take mega result after 10 minutes to ensure that our result is free from polarization current and we take it after one minute to have a value free from capacitive current. So as we mentioned before, total current I is equal to capacitive current IC plus resistive current or conductive current IR 
plus surface leakage current IS plus polarization current IP. Mega reading at one minute test will be without capacitive current. So R of one minute will equal to voltage over IR plus IS plus IP plus IC which is equal to zero. So we have only IR and IS and IP. Mega reading at 10 minute test will be without polarization. So R of 10 minute will equal to V over IR plus IS. So the ratio of polarization index PI will equal to R of 10 minutes over R of 1 minute, which is equal to V over IR plus IS over V over IR plus IS plus IP. Let's do some math and we will have IR plus IS plus IP over IR plus IS, which could be equal to 1 plus IP over IR plus IS. So when IR plus IS is much larger than IP, the polarization index will equal to 1, which is poor value. So, so if IR or IS are large, this indicates unhealthiness of insulation. But high polarization current compared to IR and IS indicates healthiness in the insulator. Take into consideration that PI test is not a standalone acceptance test. You must perform it along with other tests like step voltage test and Baker machine test. You can check the resources in the description down below. Consider subscribing in Electrical Engineering Planet channel to support our community. Also don't forget to share, like and let knowledge enlighten your world. Thanks for watching.